Lee on Power Slap Road to the title. Skilled strikers from around the country faced off in the first ever slap off elimination day. Incredible comebacks. What a comeback. And brutal knockouts as the final spots in the new Power Slap competition were filled. He's out. After coaches Darius the Destroyer and Wolverine picked their teams. Mitchell Seip. Chris Thomas. Waylon Frost. The fighters came home and discovered their first round matchups. Now, the competition kicks off as the strikers fight for a ranking and a spot in the live pay-per-view event. Ah! Trash talker Jesus Gaspar. It's the battle of the Jesuses and prepare to get baptized. Takes on slap Jesus Michael Smith. Bring that ass here, boy. There can only be one. Then, it's a battle of the Johns. Slap daddy John Kennedy. I'm bringing the fire. Takes on John the Machine Davis. Meet you at the table. Then, KO Chris Thomas goes for another knockout. I'll eat you alive, buddy. As he faces country strong Waylon Frost. I'm coming for that number one spot. Twenty-two strikers moved into the house, and we are off and running in this competition. To start, we gave every fighter an initial ranking in one of the four weight classes. Heavyweight, light heavyweight, middleweight, and welterweight. But they all know the numbers can change at any time. We're going to re-rank everyone after the first round of fights based on how they perform. So, the pressure is on. At welterweight, Michael Smith versus Jesus Gaspar. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. In a sport like the NFL, the coin toss can be important. But in power slap, it's everything. Winning it and being able to strike first gives a fighter a huge advantage. One slap and this thing could be over. Oh. Holy oh. I'm excited to see how the coin toss goes and these first three matchups. It's red. Baby, let's go! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! I won the coin toss, baby! Let's go! Strike first. Yes, sir! Uh, on the scale. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> ah! Ah! Slap Jesus never fails to entertain. The guy shows up to the weigh-in in a diaper for the biggest fight of his life. The bottom line is, this guy is a competitor. Go ahead. He dropped Alex Asbury in the exhibition, then did the same to Paul Teague in his slap-off elimination fight. He loves to throw it on the first slap, and it's worked for him so far. 165. <laughs> Jesus Gaspar is a character, too, but his striking still needs some work. In his elimination fight, he was flagged for a couple of fouls. Foul. Foul? But at our combine, he had one of the fastest slap velocities of anyone in that weight class. 167. From what I've seen, Slap Jesus doesn't really have much of a chin. So if Jesus can stay solid and keep hitting him hard and keep a good chin, then I think Jesus has got this over Slap Jesus. Get it, bud. I just need, I need my ceramic. Another one broke. What's up, you little slut? I'm gonna come your boyfriends. <laughs> Slap Jesus, he's a goofball. And knowing the guy more and more is really like, people see a clown, but in reality, he's like, a, he's a fun guy. You think this is a social experiment? The Truman Show? Nah, bitch, it's the Mike Smooth Show. Stay tuned. I'm like a big kid at heart. 
My goal with this is to make enough money so I could be a professional uh, stay-at-home dad. Hey, Mac, what happened to you, pal? <laughs> you got old, man. I just love kids. I love um, my own kids. I love, you know, all kids. I have five kids with one woman, and we don't have a really tight relationship at the moment. She's had custody of them for the last 10 years. I've always been scapegoated as a bad boy, alcoholic, party animal. I stopped drinking because I've been doing it all my life, and I'd like to give the best version of myself to my kids. I got a second go around in fatherhood with my toddler, and I'm gonna make it a point to um, not miss any days with that little dude. Protein, man, you gotta bulk up. You're too little. It's my metabolism. Yeah, but you got a good physique, though, you know? I worked on it for two years. It's cause I did it cause my girlfriend cheated on me, man. I had a girlfriend, she cheated on me. And then I had this one girl before I came here that I was getting to know, but then she, she chose another guy. So besides that, I got like three friends. I really keep my circle close. Break those make bodybuilders, bro. Yeah. How the you gonna cheat on me? I live in a pretty rough neighborhood, I'm not gonna lie. I live in the neighborhood of Montclair, but like close borderline to Pomona. Future champ. Jack right Ramos here. from Pomona, man. Future rock star. This is like future champ. Power slap. I've been living there for 12 years. Right here. Mm. Look at that. Mm. I learned how to keep my head down, not, not act like the tough guy, because there's some real tough guys that don't care if they stab you. Main yeah. part of my life, main person in my life is my mom. This is my mom. I like like not getting her mad, but whatever she says, I say the complete opposite. Hey, no mountain! No and we have those arguments, like the fun arguments, though. <laughs> no, it's a no. 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 Relationship is tough. My dad's not in the picture. My sisters aren't in the picture. The only person I got is my mom. We live in this little apartment. It's not that big. It's, uh, it goes upstairs. We have two rooms upstairs. But I want her to mention because she comes from a rough life. <laughs> I just want, I want the best for her. I just want to protect her. Just a little while. We were really not that, uh, I want to say, we're rich in heart. We can set my mom up for something good. We're so close, me and my mom. I am the truth. Sacrifice my pride for the life, gotta fight. I'm a ride for the group. We're just trying to recoup. I'm fighting Slap Jesus. I think his name is Mikey. I don't know his last name, but um, I think it's a perfect match because Slim Jesus, I mean Lil Jesus, or Slap Jesus, whatever his name is, I think, I think I'm gonna knock him out. This is what legends are made of, what we made of, what we made of. Hey Zeus, um, he's a scrapper. He's got a lot of heart, young dude. It's gonna be exciting. He brings, um, brings some power and he's got a tough, durable chin. I worked on my crack at this show on the road. Come on, Slab G's. You got this. I know I'm um, first up for the belt, so when that time comes, it'll be mine. Let's line them up, knock them down. Hey, Zeus, bring that ass here, boy. There can only be one. Yeah. Slap Jesus, it's an honor, man, but just know you're getting knocked the f out. I got power and it's time to prove it, bro. I was just talking about this. I wanted to prove it, let's do it. I got a chin like a rock, man. Ah! Michael Smith, it's the battle of the Jesuses and prepare to get baptized. Okay, guys, center up. Red has won the coin toss and elected to strike first. On what strike and uh, what count? Right three. Right three, start the clock. One, two. There you go. There you go. Fair.
Walk around. When you're ready, come back in the clock. Okay. Ready come back in here and we'll reset the clock. You good? You good there? Recovered. How are we doing? One. Right one. Right one for blue. About 10 seconds. Round one. Flinch. 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 That Flinch. might be the worst flinch I've ever seen. Foul. You good here? Mm -hmm. All right. Recovered. What are we going to use? Uh, strike. Still round one. Right strike on one. Hey. Hey, it's hitting up top because you're ducking your head. Stop ducking your head, bro. Hmm? That's why it hurts up top of your head, because you're ducking down. Stop moving your head. When you're ready, come back in the come back in the steps here when you're recovered. Get in the box. Okay, in the box. In the box. Good. You good here? Recovered. Can you tell me your can you tell me your shot and your strike? Right three. Right three. Right three. Round two. One. Two. Yes. 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 How are we doing? Good. You got time to recover. 25 seconds. When you're ready. Nice hit. We got a little blood here. You got to make sure. Hey, you got yeah. 10 seconds to get back in the box. Tell them recover. And then you get another 30 seconds after. Yeah, that was good. We're good here. Let me step you forward real quick. We're still on round two. Trust your chin. Slap Let's two. Go. Can you call your strike? One. On one, right. Right hand on one. <sighs> it's Mike Smith, bitch. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. That was a flinch? Fighter, yeah, you're flinching yeah. a lot. That was a flinch? Yeah. Foul. It, it, it's too bad he did it. He had a great slap if this goes to the Mm -hmm. Judge of scorecards, man. This is going to be a point deduction. This is your second one, though. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. Yeah. One point flinching. One point flinching. One point flinching. Okay, stay right here. All right. On one. Right hand one. Sorry, fool. <laughs> Clinch. You're not listening. Listen. You're fine. You're fine. Come over here. Stop moving your head, dog. You're moving your head up and down. That's where you're getting hit in the top of your head. It, it hitting you here, but you can't keep moving your head. You understand? All right? You're going like this, getting hit in the face a lot. You're causing this, OK? Stop doing that. You good? Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. Hurry up. You recovered? Get back Come over here real box. quick. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah. Recovered. OK, what are you on? Right three. Right three. One, two, better. Feet. Good. How are we doing, champ? Let's go. Yeah? You got time. 25 seconds to recover. Let's go. You good? Yeah. Let me have that for you. I need that. Good. Yes. Don't recover. move recover. your head. Round three, right hand on one. Please. No flinching. Oh. Better, yeah? Hmm? All right. The fight's over. Jesus had a lot of penalties for flinching, but I think his flinching was caused by the one count, not expecting it, not knowing when it was coming. He throws a lot of people off, throws me off too. I mean, you never know when it's coming. Slap Jesus, you know, he did fine. He, you know, didn't crumble, and then he kept going. I mean, he hit Jesus pretty good. I think he got hit in the nose. But he still kept going. Winner by split decision. Blue corner. I feel awesome. Line them up. I'm gonna knock them down, baby. Save the best for last. Or give them the best now. Dog, tough son of a bitch, Michael Smith, man. I hit that fool and I busted him up pretty bad. I got his blood on my hands. Open and close. Bite down, teeth okay? Yeah. All right. Homie did not go down. That's, that's, that's for you. And those were your earplugs if you still want those.
there is no doubt that the flinching penalties gave Slap Jesus the edge in this fight. I think that Jesus Gaspar may have actually had better slaps and would have won had it not been for the fouls. I think this kid has a lot of potential. It's still very early, and these guys need to spend some time in the gym and get the proper coaching. Then we will see what they're really capable of. I'm just taking some of the smaller guys for right now. Russell, you're gonna be with Shayna just for a second. Sheena, my assistant coach, she is a black belt in judo. Just a little bit more with the body, so you're coming back because I see that you're more doing the arm. She had a fight where she completely starched her opponent. It was not competitive at all. Yes! Here. Watch the here. You know, shape is an arch. Okay. So an arch coming straight down, coming up, boom. I'm here. Boom! I'm trying to take their head, hit them on impact, drive them to the ground. As a coach, I'm really gonna bring the experience to the table. Yes. Rotation at your hips. Don't move your feet. Rotation, rotation, rotation. I don't have to move my feet. I'm just bouncing on my knees. I've had all the pregame jitters. I've had you know, the early fight and experience. They're taking every little small thing I say and applying it to their technique. Good. Good. Everything's going amazing. You're a pretty long dude, so you want to get that whip and yeah. I feel like everybody's here to push each other to be better. We don't know the proper technique. We don't know the best way to go about doing it. I'm just happy to take in everything and just keep learning. Good. Keep going all the way through. I'm going up against John Davis. I'm feeling good, you know, like I said, you know, feel good, fight good, so. Breathe in and try to give everything in this. You see? Everything in this one. Go! There's a lot more in you. I just feel like he can't take the slap like I can take the slap. And I can give it like he can't give it. Come on, a lot. Yes! This was better! Nice, nice! Trying to keep your feet still, there you go. Yeah, eye level, just like he's right there, yep. I don't plan on losing. I plan on giving them everything that I know. We keep our feet still, no clubs. It's a rough sport, but it's an easy sport at the same time. It just takes practice, repetition, training, just like anything else. My assistant coach that I brought on was the Bell. He's a big guy. I mean, he's in my weight class. Solid. I think he's a good asset to have to help train these guys and get these guys ready. Holy smokes, the bell knocks Frank down all the way to the mat. Wolverine's right-hand man, the bell, is someone we're actually very excited about. He's a 21-year-old super heavyweight champ who competed in another organization, and he is currently ranked number three heavyweight behind Wolverine and Darius the Destroyer. So we expect really big things from him. We got five workouts, like a circuit. We'll just do 25 of these, and then we'll switch out. Better footwork, better foot placement. I don't know if they're going to call that foot raising up before you slap up. How to put their body into it. Every time you twist, I want y'all to hit a dot, but actually put it into it. I'd want to keep hitting that same spot over and over. We're going to work on precision and technique. Good job. Team Wolverine training session I thought was awesome. Even though this sport itself is new, they've definitely got something to say and some knowledge to pass along to us in this with how much they've been able to do it and you know the exposure they've gotten already. I really want to make sure that I keep my feet planted. I'm not trying to get fouled out at all. My matchup against John Kennedy, that's gonna be a banger. I wanna be the champ, you know, coming from hard times from being younger to, you know, on top of the world in a new sport that people are gonna have controversial opinions about, but I really don't give a what they have to say, so. At middleweight, John Davis versus John Kennedy. John? Other John? John Davis, you're blue. John Kennedy, you're red. It's blue. Hit first. Okay, on the scale. I think John Davis has no problems at pulling this win out. 
Just because of the training and everything, he makes no mistakes. I see this going to the judge's decision. I see uh, John Davis winning. 182 and a half. I think this is going to be a really interesting matchup. John Davis is a really hard-working guy, but John Kenny has the willpower, the heart, the chin, the power to be able to make it through John Davis. 184 and a half. I'm a real 185er, bitch. Yeah. John Kennedy, a longtime MMA fighter, lost his exhibition match last year, but then he won the elimination fight in a three-round war to get himself into the house. Kennedy. But John Davis has a granite chin, he won his three-round fight and never looked like he even got budged or rocked in it. Davis' slap force and velocity tested higher than Kennedy's at the combine, but with Kennedy slapping first in this fight, who knows what'll happen. I was in the Marine Corps for a little bit. Unfortunately, I got hurt real early and got an honorable medical discharge, but... Where have I? Uh, my shoulder popped out of place, oh, okay. and then even though I tried to get surgery down there, but they said no matter what, because of it, the injury that it was, even if I would have stayed in and got the surgery down there, there was no chance of me going back. After they told me I couldn't go back to the military, that all needed to happen early in life to teach me, <sighs> to teach me a lot of lessons now to be able to get through times like this that are, you know, very hard for people in general, especially being away from family. My motivation is absolutely, you know, my wife and kids, just pushing me to be better in every aspect. Especially, like, right now, I just miss them all so much. And it's only been a couple of days, but, in the, you know, the entire time my wife had been together, the, the longest we were apart was the last time I was down here in March. Being emotional like this now as an adult, especially as a guy in this world, isn't always easy. But it's also, once again, an example to show my kids that, you know, it's normal. <laughs> Giving them an example of chasing dreams and doing stuff that people would normally say, oh, why would you do that? That's dangerous. Well, life's risky and dangerous, so I really wanted to come out here and show them that whether you win, lose, or draw, you gotta try. It's one of those things where I'm willing to take the risks and get rowdy to do something like this now while I can, because I know one day everything could get ripped away from me in a second. That's nothing I can do about it. What do you do for fun, John? Dude, I don't do for fun. I smoke weed and hang out with my son. <laughs> How old your kid? Two. That's what, that's what sucks about being here is like not being around him. I got 50 50 custody of my son, Grayson, you know. Say hi to everybody. Hi. I'm working on a better relationship with my other three kids. Uh, the moms, are, we're not really on talking terms with it, but I haven't always been the best dad, you know, but uh, parenting's have been a real learning thing for me, and I'm just trying to be the best I can. I'm not trying to live off my past, and what happened back then, I'm just trying to change what I, I did and do right. One, two, three. Okay. Ready? Done. He's already like pushing 50 pounds, man. He's only two years old. Hell no. <laughs> God gave me a hell of a gift, you know, with that being a slap. He gave me a, a good chin. He's, you know, he's gave me, he's blessed me with many talents. But yeah, slapping has always been a part yeah. of my arsenal. Like, this is my. Like I said, I, I do it as a hobby. It's it's my clear space. Yeah. In the circus. I love violence. Yeah, right? Control violence. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you see it all. Like, some of us are just made for a slap fight. It must have been destiny. This is going to be the Battle of the Johns, Mr. John Davis versus John Kennedy. There can only be one John left standing at the end. I know him and I are both fighting for more than just ourselves, so we're we're gonna go out there. There's gonna be fireworks. I feel like it's gonna be an exciting fight because we're both fighting for our kids. So I feel like if he knocks me down, I know I'm gonna get I'm gonna pull my ass back up 
And then it, when I knock him down, he's gonna pull his ass back up. I give it up to him, but my family comes before his. I can't get enough. You know, he's got power. I'd say he's pretty damn accurate. He's also a fighter with more MMA experience than me, so he also has been in there to take some hits, and I know that he can, he can bang. You know, he's, he's willing to go out there and risk it all. At the end, it's gonna be me standing because I know what I'm willing to go in there and put on the line. I am 115,000% excited to show the world what I'm capable of and what I'm willing to come out here and do. Meet you at the table. I feel like I'm the best middleweight in the house. John Davis, not only is your age gonna go, but that number two is gonna go, go. I'm coming for that spot. I'm bringing the fire. You got this. So what's going to be your hand and your count? Right hand on three. Round one. Right hand on three. Start the striker clock. That's your measure. One. Two. Nothing. Good hit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Recover. Put your hand in your count. Right three. Right on three. One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. There you go. Stay in there. You got this. Good hit. You have 25 seconds to recover and tell hey, me you're good. You got good. that round. You're up. You're up. Step Are you good? Up. Are you good? Yeah. Recover. Hand count. Right hand on three. Round two, right hand, three. Measure. One. Two. Foul! 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 Clubbing! Sorry, John. Do this then. Hey, John, you got two minutes to recover, yeah. okay? Take your time. Come here. Take your time. There you go. Just brush it off. Brush it off. Walking around, you got two minutes. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, he clubbed the out of him. Are you good? Recover! What's going to be your call? Right three. Start the striker clock. Right hand on three. Measure. One. There you go, stay in there. You good? You good? Good hit! You good? I'm recovered too. Recover! Now you got 30 seconds again, so you good, man. You good? Just keep this one clean. All right, bud. Hand count. Uh, right on three. Right on three. Measure. You ain't ready. <laughs> One. Two. John Kennedy hit both his first two slaps right on target. So, I mean, John Davis knew he was down a point. That last round came, and he had a clean hit.
knocked him down. John Kennedy, it was upsetting to see him get a TKO the way he did because I truly believed that he was responsive and that he was, you know, ready to go and keep continuing. But, you know, that's not my decision to make. That's on the Athletics Commission. We have a referee stoppage. Winner by TKO, John. Thank you, thank you. This was a hard fought battle, but in the end, Davis's force and velocity edge proved to be too much for Kennedy to handle. I think it was a good stoppage. He didn't look like he would have been able to continue. I feel amazing right now, you know, couldn't, couldn't be happier. Uh, win for the team, win for myself, you know, on, on to the next one. I'm not just here to play around. I'm not here playing games. I want that belt. Woo! Let's go! We're gonna go, we're gonna go downstairs. Help him down. Okay. I, I robbed. That's all it is. I think I robbed and they called it TKO. I, I answered. I wasn't stumbling. I wasn't nothing. I was I was ready to go back and fire back. This loss just adds fire to my, my uh, drive and everything else. Slide that. We'll be back for sure. Right after the fight, the vibe in the house is awesome. Everybody's happy, everybody's talking, moving around, super excited. They're drinking. I was gonna quit before I came out here. And I got to the airport and had like four shots. Bro. Oof. A lot of these guys come from the streets like I do, so these guys are just full of testosterone. They're just full of mayhem. <laughs> just drink your yeah. <laughs> Y'all drunk. I hit him, I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a very social drinker, but obviously whenever mixing is involved and whenever you oh, stop gauging how much you drink, things happen and... Um, man, y'all better chill out, man. Chill out, y'all ain't doing nothing. We about to play basketball. Right, guys, hey, basketball. chill out. I get the no, look, he let him eat his food, bro. It brings out uh, the ugly side of me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play basketball. Hey, don't let that weird ass energy throw you off. Stay focused. Don't let that weird ass energy throw you off. You suck. Eat right, your breakfast, bro. Doing it on the court now. Hey, bro. Come on. What's up, bro? No. I'm an idiot. And then he was telling me, like, oh, you can't knock me out. And all this. Man, he's stupid. I just about to get out of my face, dog. Let me eat my food. Do something stupid. Do something stupid. Hey, no, no, please, please, please. Nah, do something please, stupid, bro. though. Please, please, Do something please, stupid. Oh. Hey, no, 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 hey, bro, please. He's a nice guy and he's sober, but when he drinks too much, ho. Oh. Can I deal with people like that, man? Do something stupid. Do something stupid. Do something stupid, though. Hey, please, 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 bro. Hey, he's hammered, bro. Do something stupid, though. Do something stupid. I wanted to save Asael too, because if one of like two guys get on him or what just one guy and he's drunk, I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to see this guy get hurt. All right, show's over, he's going to sleep. I knew if he didn't go to sleep, the whole house didn't go to sleep, so I might as well put him to sleep. Did you guys see what's his name's bed? Yeah, come look at this. Who's Ismael's? Yeah. It's it's destroyed. Yeah. I'm gonna have to use that duct tape and all my knowledge to fix it. What the Is it breathing? Yeah, he's breathing. Oh, okay. just... <laughs> Checking on him? Yeah, man. I put that bucket on him because he was hiccuping all night. He looked... Oh, yeah? Yeah, so... Yeah, 100%, I'm definitely the dad figure. I mean, I just try to make sure everyone's having a good time, everything's good, you know? And for him to just not take this serious, that's the, probably the thing that makes me more pissed off is like, this is an opportunity that if you don't understand it, you're just, you're ignorant. I went to check his bed. I'm pretty sure he pissed the bed. Okay. <laughs> At welterweight, Christopher Thomas versus Waylon Frost. Oh, 
Chris Blue. Blue, Waylon Red. Blue it is. Blue. Damn, I should've took that. Uh-oh. 169. Waylon's number one best strength when it comes to all this is his chin is amazing. It's gonna take someone very special to knock him out, and it's definitely not Chris. 168. Nice. Thomas versus Frost should be an interesting fight. In the exhibition, Thomas knocked his opponent out on the first lap. <laughs> so his chin has never really been put to the test yet. Muscle don't make But at our slap combine, he had the strongest neck force amongst all the welterweights. Frost, on the other hand, had the weakest neck force during the test. But in his elimination fight against Asbury, oh! the guy proved that he's tough. So this fight could really go either way. I deal with a lot of That's what I notice about with everybody. Like, there's, everybody's deal with, deal is dealing, not has dealt, is dealing with right. all kinds of demons, bro. I can't even stand being in my own skin, dude. Like, I'm here for one reason, is my boys kept me around, that's it, but I can't stand my own self, dude. Like, I smile and laugh, dude, but I'm depressed as all the time, dude. I got a little bit of anxiety going on, thinking about my family a lot tonight. I got five sons and, uh, you know, without them, I just feel empty. I miss the out of them. I don't like talking about them or even mentioning them because I miss them. I've been out of trouble for all seven, but I've been clean for like like a year and two months, clean, clean. So uh, we kind of the same. I ain't been in no trouble in, in years and years and years and years yeah. and years and years and years. And this is directly accredited to my kids. Like when I had my first son, it was like, I gotta stop doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I've been trying to just journal, dude, like write my kids a letter. And so I'm gonna, I started that today, so I'm gonna try to continue it tomorrow. It's just not writing a letter, just write about, like my biggest thing was today is I was just thinking about like, all the I done wrong. It's only my two in-laws that I'm dealing with right now. Out of everybody in my family, but like they're important because they're important to my woman. And, uh, I can't get out, I can't win them over, I can't do nothing. I've, I've even fought to be clean for a year and a half, bro. Gotta keep pushing. Number one, because your family means everything to you, bro. Everything. You gotta keep pushing. Gotta keep trying. Joel's my man, he's a good man. You know, we click and relate a lot because, I don't know, I just see his heart, he sees my heart, and uh, you can just tell because he's come from over like a rough background and he's just a family man, he like, he just wants, you know, just don't disrespect a man. Just that's the same with me. Don't disrespect me. We'll, we'll love that you do whatever we will, do whatever we can for you. I wake up at three, four in the morning, having that sad missing. Bro, this is my baby's blanket. He was born, but like it's not like he slept with it. But it's just like they gave this to us. Like he's three months old right now, but dude, he is the cutest one we've had. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> and he's the chillest man. He doesn't cry one bit. That's fine. Uh, uh huh. Congratulations, bro. Thank you, thank you. Had to form a plan if you want to rise. Was working in the dark, did it in disguise. Understand what great power takes them on with pride. Takes them on with jungle hunger, read it in your eyes. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Chris Taylor ah, Ready, baby. How hard can we go? Let the work show. Two years ago, a year and a half ago, I wouldn't have been here. I wasn't the man I am today. I want to become a better man, I want to become more masculine, I want to challenge myself, push myself. Hey. I have no fear in my heart. You know, I basically got nothing to lose. Game over. The thing about me is I've been heavyweight my whole life. You know, 200 plus pounds my whole life, dude, until last year. I even had the heavyweights tell me I hit like a heavyweight. I know that if he gets in front of me, I think it's over for him right away. Come on, Chris. Yes, sir. Go, baby. I've never been knocked out a day in my life. Never have I been knocked out a day in my life. 
Any of you guys that ever want to come challenge me, I'm up for it. Because I'll eat you alive, buddy. People are going to want to watch this fight because they call the dude KO Chris. They know he's got a hand. You know, they didn't know much about me coming in. I just came here. I proved myself. I got myself into this house, and they're going to see, you know, who the, who the real number one is. Chris Thomas, I know you got some respect around this house, but I'm coming for that number one spot. You got this, bud. Gentlemen, to the center. Blue has won a coin toss, electing to strike. Yeah. Hand count. Right. Three. He's going to go right on three. Start the striker clock. Measure. Stand at eight. Stand at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. You have to get back in the box. Are you good? Recover. What's your hand and what's your count? Right hand, three. Right on three. Measure. Come on, Chris, just eat this. You got this? This ain't nine. No. One. Two. Set. There you go. Yeah. yeah. The slap. Chris, you got to recover in 30. Let's go. Waylon, I need you up against the box. Up against the box, I have to reach Stand by. Are you good? Yeah. Recover. Two. Recover. Two. Right hand on two. Measure. One. Oh, oh my god. That's it, done. Yeah. Oh. When Waylon took that first shot, he showed me that he had a lot of heart, you know, getting back up. And the fact that he got up and was still able to compete and throw an amazing slap right back, that man's a warrior. As far as welterweight goes, yeah, I think uh, Chris is, you know, right where he needs to be at number one right now. So I think he's doing great, and he's the top guy at welterweight. We have a winner by knockout. Moving on. Christopher. Yeah! I knew I was going to win today, you know, by knockout. But I needed that little slap you gave me to wake me up. I was just lucky that my head didn't even go all the way out. It just made me rage. So I took that rage and I was ready. I went right up to the podium like I always do right after I get slapped. Right now, I'm untouchable. Let's go, baby! I'm gonna be you all night! Chris Thomas tastes like a truck, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, this dude KO'd everybody he's gone against. So what did I prove that? Yeah, I have heart, and it, no matter what happens, I'm going to stand right back up. Good, good job, man. Good good job, man. Hey, Love good. you, man. Our number one welterweight delivers in a massive way. Another huge knockout for Chris Thomas. This guy is a power slap star in the making, and there is no doubt in my mind.
on the next episode of Power Slap, Road to the Title. We don't play, you talk like that, cause we gonna bang. With the pressure mounting, tensions turn to full-blown mayhem at the house. Rumble, 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 rumble. It's over. Forcing Dana to remove a fighter from the competition. What the are you doing here if you're gonna act like a bunch of douchebags? Then, get ready for three more hard-hitting matchups. Number one middleweight, Wesley Drain, continues his quest for glory. When I'm in the zone, I'm a killer. As he faces former MMA fighter, Jesse Nutting. I'm too hard-headed to go down. <gasps> then, explosive Jewel Scott takes on tough New York native, Andrew Provost. This guy has no idea. He's psyching himself up. You got this, you can eat him. I've never been KO'd. I'm here to kill or be killed. Finally, powerhouses go head to head as the heavy hands of AJ Static hints. See if I can get the one hit knockout on him. Face gritty Hawaiian sensation, Russell Rivero. Good, keep that down. Don't take it personal, but that'll put you to sleep, homie. Who will improve their ranking and move one step closer to the coveted power slap belt?